Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're looking for a lightweight Arch based distro that uses window managers only out of the box, then Archcraft is the distro that you might be looking for. Right now, I'm using this distro for almost a month, and I believe I have a good understanding with this distro to give you a review to this. It's fairly new distro but comes with a lot of goodness. But, but guys, uh, just before we start this, I want to make uh, some statement about me that this channel was idle for almost like one year and I started uploading again regularly and I took a kind of challenge to upload 30 videos for 30 days regularly and this is the 10th video actually that you are watching right now and if you are like wondering what kind of videos well I'm going to cover like Linux and cloud related videos mostly like AWS, Kubernetes, DevOps in general and whatever topic related to Linux so yeah i really need you guys support so yeah a subscribe would be awesome okay let's just start uh so the main part if i saw is that like if i do a new fetch uh this is the system usage right now as you can see that i'm using the archcraft that i just talked about and generally in terms of system usage the ram consumptions stay around like uh, 600 to around like 800 okay and right now it's almost like uh, running at like 1.4 GB because because I'm recording this video and I have docker and other stuff installed also I have running you know Firefox so maybe that's why it's running but ideally it runs around like 600 to 800 in between that apart from that I haven't had any kind of you know bottlenecks on this one and my main usage for this machine is like doing small development and mostly handling server sites VMs and I'm pretty confident about that this distro is a solid one and I haven't had any issues with the drivers and all. It just worked out of the box like when I installed. Right now it is using the kernel version 5.14.14 Arch1. And the default current, you know, default terminal is Alacrity right now. Right? The one that I'm using. And the same theme goes for like Cyberpunk. Right now the theme I'm using is Cyberpunk currently and yeah it is also made by the Archcraft arch craft team and we also have some other themes if i can show you there's beach blade bouquet dracula flowers forest cool box hack if i switch to hack and i can like hit enter and i can switch from anyone so let's just go with the hack one and you just saw that it just changed so this is how it looks right in the background and this is just a wallpaper guys okay and I can also switch to another if I want. I can switch to blade. And it will also change the you know wallpaper. According to that, the theme is also getting changed. And which is a cool feature, I guess. And then the menu bar you're seeing here is also made by the Archcraft team. And yeah, it's clickable actually. I can click on this thing. And this is also like clickable. This is my network. And I can click on them. And also click on the timer and it will show the full timer. I can click on this one. This is the OBS that I'm running. It will open that. Okay. And so this is how like this thing works in general terms. And I'm currently running BSP window manager. And guys, uh, the menu bar you're seeing is also like as you already understood that it made by Archcraft team. And now some of you might say that well d menu is better than this right uh, guys get the context actually why this OS is exist in the first place it was meant to provide you a good window manager based distro that doesn't needs to be you know configured this way anyone can use it and get familiar with the window manager system and you literally get everything set up out of the box you just need to modify here and there and out of like just to your taste and then which like I did and I'm gonna show you that this Archcraft comes with a uh, open box and BSP window manager and I'm currently running the BSP WM and on DistroWatch this OS got 9.6 rating out of 10 and which is freaking awesome uh, the reason is that Archcraft uses most of the circular programs instead of using the traditional bloated ones and thus it can maintain this lightness of itself and it also supports chaotic AOR out of the box which is another plus point of using this distro and chaotic or basically you know automates the building for your 
repo for you know or packages this helps you saving your time and keystrokes lol i had no questions with stability also and this distro till date and it just works like it as it should be right well i can make out of like i can if i want i can make some cons also but that will be neat picking but i'll like catch them over here uh the first one is the terminal one right if i open the terminal uh this could have like a fish shell as a default because in the oh my zsh that it's running right now takes some time to load sometimes because like when i'm having multiple you know servers at the time same time it sometimes like it just takes around like 20 seconds to come up right so i don't know why just because all of these things are right now supporting this thing so maybe that's the reason it's getting a kind of heavy but yeah the bwspm changes the whole way of interaction with your machine so that's the another reason like thus it makes your productivity improve over the time and i might also switch to this one so another thing that i can like point out is that like some of the programs that it comes with uh, this you know archcrypto is built in are like you get uh, these are the my programs that i installed but the things that it came like this thunar file manager then genie then this xfce terminal and then plank then nitrogen obviously either way I was, I was going to use nitrogen so yeah that's no issue but then meld then yep uh, i think we also got uh, yeah this disk usage analyzer then this pacman fm which is a file manager yeah i i kind of like that so no issues on that but then g part 8 k vendor manager and leaf pad which is a notepad kind of system that also came over here and then this printing thing then i think we also got this pyroom and some like time shift and uh, x archiver and xfc terminal yeah these are the things but uh, generally these are not that heavy systems so yeah maybe you like you can like actually keep them if you like gonna use that but it doesn't really take that much of you know uh, ram because it only takes around like 6 to 800 mb so that's that and if i talk about the settings right it also comes with this help and tips system which is basically uh you know this documentation page for the archcraft right now you can see and i'm using the bspwm and you can go through this and you'll see like what are the you know key bindings they have what are the applications they support i mean come for example this pacman fm which is a file manager right this one i'm talking about so i and also one more thing that i kind of like the keystrokes that they have i did a little bit of tweaks here and then but it works out of the box guys and it also comes with this genie which is a text editor then this xfc terminal and all these things but what is the main thing is that like you can have this like hardware keys yeah obviously these things comes but still i just wanted to make them point out and the window management by default windows are like tiled in bspwm so if you don't know about tiled right now i can see it's like tiled right this this is tiled but this is floated right if i make want to make it tiled i can do that see it becomes tiled but if i want to make it float i can do that if i want to make it full skin i can also do that that works guys that just works and in my opinion this is a solid rock solid os as of now if you want to install this OS, go ahead and do that fully customizable and totally awesome out of the box you literally have to do nothing like uh, even uh, if i need to you know let's say i'm installing arch uh, and then on top of that i'm using dwm then i'll have to go through the whole setup process and if you're like someone who's coming for the first time in this whole you know loophole then obviously you're going to have a very hard time but with this archcraft os that i just talked right just this just works out of the box actually and not only that like if i sh so the h top right see it's taking 1.6 gb as i said and the you know consumptions are stays around like 30 17 so yeah that's pretty good os and yeah obviously like everything works as in like spotify also works if i want i can like shift it to some other place right and it will come up so it's my network yeah 
it just came up so yeah you can go ahead and try this application just go to their website and you'll find that and yeah that's it about this uh artscraft os and if you like this and you have any comment i mean any any doubt or anything just ask me in the comment and i'll definitely reply to that and guys do subscribe because i need your help because uh right now i have only this amount this much amount of subscriber but i make i want to make it to 200 so guys can you do that i i'm sure that you can do that yeah okay and like this video bye